covenant mean? The word covenant means contract. Yes? So this is the contract that the Lord told Moses to make with the children of Israel. Okay? The contract. We're looking into the details of the contract now. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. I want 46 verse. Go. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Read. And they shall be upon thee. For a sign. So he says they, right? The day is talking about certain curses. You know what? Go to verse 45 and then read to 46. Listen carefully. The, Pay book, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 45. Okay. Moreover, all these curses. All these curses. There are certain curses, read, shall come upon thee. Which will come upon the Israelites with whom this contract was made, read, and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. Until the Israelites are destroyed, they're going to have these curses. We're about to go into the curses, read. Because thou hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because they did not want to keep the commandments of God, right? Go ahead. To keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes uh -huh. which he commanded thee. Verse 47. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So the curses that we are about to read will be a sign upon the children of Israel, okay? I have a question. If you want to go to Afro Beauty Plaza, how do you know which store is Afro Beauty Plaza? The symbol or the what? Sign. So the curses show you who the Israelites are, right? Go ahead. And for a wonder. Hey, stay, bro. Read. And for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. You hear that? So that's the curses. The curses will be a sign and a wonder upon your children forever. Where are you from, bro? Where are you from? Where, where are you originally? Where were you born? All right, man. Where are you from, bro? Ghana. Yourself? Suriname? Suriname, Suriname. Sis, my sister, you from Suriname, yeah? All right. Go ahead. Give me verse 32. Now, listen. Listen. Yeah? Verse 32. Listen carefully to one of these curses, my sister. That will come upon the children of Israel. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse hey, 32. Hey, read. Listen, listen, let me see. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Oh, Jenny, read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Go to, go to Leviticus chapter 26, verse 14. Hey, listen, bro. One of the curses is the children of Israel's children will be given to another people. What is the another word for it? It is people that are not belong to Yeah, what's another word for it? If I come, take the children of a certain nation, give them to another people. Yes, sir. What is that called? It's called slavery. Slavery. The children of Israel will go into slavery. You understand? Who did it happen to? It happened to us. Now, I see the brother wants to go. You understand? But understand this. Read what you got, bro. Read. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 14. Read. But right. if he will not hearken unto me. So if you will not hearken unto me, for example, the cross on his neck. You understand? People think that signifies following Christ. No! Yes, That's the devil right there. That's the teacher of life. You understand? No. No. You understand, bro? So now, if we, the children of Israel, who these things happen to, if we will not listen and take these things on for him, and will not do all these commandments. You understand that we are here to tell you, to warn you, that Christ is coming back to destroy this kingdom. Yes, you better get out of it. Mercy you better take good. that thing off your neck. Remember, you do come, read. And if you shall despise my statutes, uh -huh. or if your soul abhor my judgment. Listen, if you hate what God is telling you today, read. So that you will not do all my commandments. Now what we are about to tell you, you are not going to do, read. But that, 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 but that ye break my covenant, read. I also will do this unto you, read. I will even appoint over you terror. What? Yeah. Terror. What?
Listen, listen carefully. Read. Habakkuk chapter two verse eighteen. Read. Prophet has the graven image. My brother, my brother. God is asking you a question. He said he would appoint Aaron for not listening to his commandments. Now he's asking you, what prophet is that cross on your neck? Read it again. What prophet has the graven image? What does it bring you? What does the cross bring you? The same cross they carried when it came to our continent and enslaved your forefathers. What does that cross do for you? The same cross that it put our Lord and Savior, Black Jesus, on. What does that bring to you? Read. Read. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 18. What profit has the image? That the graven image Me? that the maker thereof has graven image. Because somebody, bro, somebody used metal, gold that they took from your continent, they melt, they melt it, they yeah. made it liquid, and then they graved that cross. Me? The molten image. The molten what? The molten image. My brother, I hope you're listening. The molten image, we and the teacher of life. A teacher of what? A teacher of, of life. A teacher of life. Hey, bro, that cross on your neck. That cross on your neck. It's this guy right here. Right. Where can you show me that Christ is a white man in the Bible? Nowhere. Nowhere. The Bible says Christ is a black man. That's right. So that cross is a teacher of lies. That's right. This is the reason why they come to your continent and they take your stuff. Yes, show him. They take your stuff and you cannot do anything about it. Because in your mind, show them, show them. Where you're going, turn around and look, sisters. You think this is your God? You think this is your savior? Bitch, huh? This is the image of the beast. That's right. So you are in the cross. You are representing the image of the beast. That's you are right. representing the devil. We finish. The maker of his work trusted the ring to we. make dumb idols. Dumb idols. The Bible calls it, my brother. The Bible calls it dumb idols. It's not going to bring anything to you. It's not going to bring anything to you. That is the reason why our people are destroyed. Go back to Leviticus 26. Let's finish it up. Hey, Bosu, Bosu. Bra, 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 bra. Yeah, baby, we have to see a bra. Bra. And come here, be a train. Read. How are we? 26, you are 15. Let's go, let's go. Read. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 16. Read. I also will do this unto you. Uh -huh. I will even appoint over you terror. Terror. Read. Consumption. And the burning and a burning ark. ark. The burning ark Read. that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. You see, that's why our people, man, we constantly go through these bad things. Why? Because we are not keeping the contract that we have with our God. You understand? Like your brother, man, with a cross. You understand? We do these stupid stuff. We don't marry our our woman. We hold them out and boom, we gone. These things. We don't keep the Sabbath day holy. These things, isn't it? We. You shall sow your seed in vain. See, you sow our seed in vain. All the way is in vain. Hurry up. For your enemies shall eat it. You see that? And that's why all our resources, these people profit from it. You understand? One last thing. Read. Verse 17. Uh -huh. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. That's why. The Bible is saying you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, the reason why you are being killed, the reason why you are being mistreated, and you are low on this planet is because you do not want to keep the commandments of God. Right. You want to follow your oppressor. That's right. Since when? Have you ever seen your oppressor do something good for you? No. So why in the hell are you following this, these religions? Why in the hell are you saying you're Pentecost? You're saying you're Baptist? You're saying you're Rastafarian? Or you are of the nation of Islam or Islam? You are lost. You have to come back to your roots. As an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. We finish. They that hate you shall reign over you. Okay, go ahead. They that hate they you, that hate you shall we... reign over you. All right, stop, my brother. I have a question. Who is ruling over us right now? It says, they that what? Uh, they that hate you. They that love you. They that hate you. They that will do anything for you. They that hate you. They that hate you. Bro. Yeah. Bro. 
come here. Turn aside. Turn this. Turn that one too. Question: Who is ruling over us? My sister. My sister. Come here. Sis, I'm not gonna bite you. Who is ruling over us as a people, my sister? Who rules? Say it. He's scared, but you're not scared. Say it. The Europeans? The Asians? All the nations rule over us. The Bible says, read it again. Bro, are you listening? Are you with me? Read. They that hate you uh -huh. shall reign over you. They, the people that hate you will rule over you. Who tells us how much our money is worth? Uh -huh. Who tells you what language you can speak in school? Who tells you your history from school? Who gave you the religion you have right now? The Bible says they hate you. Read it again. They that hate you. This is hatred. This is hatred. This is hatred. They put us in human zoos. Treated us like monkeys. Now over 50 years ago. Read it again. They that hate you. My brother, if they did this to us, do they love you or do they hate you? So is the Bible a true book? What? Read it again. Listen carefully. They that hate you shall rule, shall reign over you. My brother, are the people that are ruling over us right now not the same people that did these atrocities to us? Same people. Same people. Therefore, the Bible is a real book. Because the Bible said, if you blacks do not keep the commandments, the same people that hate you, I will make them rule over you. You understand? And that is why we as a people are down because we have been destroyed. Yes. Our minds don't function proper. But guess what? Give me Psalms 19 verse 7. Yeah. Guess what, my brother? Today, the most I brought you here to what? To sanctify your spirit. To baptize you in the Holy Ghost. Yes. The real thing. Read Psalms chapter 19 verse 7. Read yeah. the law of the Lord is perfect. You hear that? The law of the Most High God is perfect. God a black man, his laws is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. It's going to change your soul, your mind, your spirit. You understand that, bro? Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Everything he said is going to happen. Guess what? It happened. He said, they that hate you will rule over you. It happened. He said you will go into slavery on ships. It happened. Hey, listen. Somebody come here and show me any other nation except for blacks, Hispanics, natives that went to slavery on ships. Hey, bro, don't run, don't run, don't run. Almost done. Almost done. What? One minute. One more minute. Read, 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 read. Making the wise simple. Making the wise simple. Give me Exodus chapter twenty verse eight. Hey, Bema, Bema, T, 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 T. I know you're Omega. I know you're Omega. Omega, what? Bro, listen, one, one, two minutes. Come You understand? Go ahead, read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What you say? And now you're And Right, and then you're a Or say, Kai Homeda no Nene no Kongo. Remember the Sabbath day to what? To keep it holy. Bring it out. Six days, child of God. Holy meaning separate. So six days from Sunday to Friday until the sun goes down. You can do whatever you want, right? Go ahead. And do all thy work. You can work. Get money. You're... The plans that you have, do it, right? Go ahead. But the seventh day. But the seventh day, which is what? Today we is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. No, of whoever wants to. Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The Sabbath of the Lord your God. Read. In it thou shalt do no any work. You understand? So you are not supposed to do any work in it. You're not supposed to go uh, 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 reveling, making your pants and all that. Where are you going? You going to the public festival? No. Where are you going? Where are you going? We are going to shoes. Where? Shoes. Shoes? Yeah, shoes. What is shoes? It's a place. What are you gonna do there? We live there. Oh, you live there. Where are you coming from then? 
Where are you coming from? We come from Sust. No. What? Where did you go to? Say We went to buy some shirt here. Uh -huh. yeah, shirt. You went to what? Buy some shirt. Buy some shirt. Now read. Listen carefully, bro. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. So you're not supposed to work on the Sabbath day. There should not be open for you to buy a shirt on the read. Sabbath day. Read. Thou nor thy son, uh -huh. nor thy daughter, uh -huh. thy servant, uh -huh. thy man servant, nor thy maid servant. No, thy cattle, no, thy stranger that is within thy gates. Okay, so nobody should be working. Hey, my bad, go to my bed, go to my bed. Nobody should be working, yeah? Nobody should be working. Give me the Amaya, that would buy and sell it. Nobody should be working, go ahead. Neymar, chapter 10, verse 31. Yeah. As if the people of the land break well, or any rituals on the Sabbath day to yeah. sell. So if somebody comes and brings something for you to buy, uh, to buy, you understand? They come, to, they say, hey, listen, I got some shirt for you. What's your name again, bro? Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. All right, coffee. Somebody comes. Yo, I got, you know, read. Neymar, chapter 10, verse 31. Uh -huh. And if the people of the land bring where or any rituals, any rituals? On, the, on the Sabbath day to sell, read. That we would not buy it of them. You're not supposed to be buying on the Sabbath day, Kofi. You're not supposed to be buying on the Sabbath day. Don't forget, us buying, selling on the Sabbath day was part of the reason why we went into slavery on ships according to the Bible. It's part of the reason why the Lord allowed our enemies to put us in human tools. That's right. Human tools. Bro, the hatred is real. The punishment is real. Jeez. So why are we not keeping the commandments? Bring it up. Because we are destroyed people. We don't see reality no more. We walking around as if everything is normal. Meanwhile, war is on the way and we are the only ones who are not prepared. Why? Because we are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Continue reading. That we would not buy it of them we, on the Sabbath day. We are on the holy day. Or on the holy day. We will not buy. So next next Saturday, what should you not be doing? Next Saturday, what should you not be doing here? No, no selling will come. No selling, no what? No buying. No buying. No buying, no selling, right? Alright. Now um give me what a cooking. Yeah. Hey, 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 oh, Danny, oh, Danny, come on, Danny. You understand that? So listen, hey, we are here to tell you, Israelites, according to the Bible, the reason why you are suffering under terrorism of the European regime is because you're not keeping the commandments of God. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.